three. Hi, this is Stacy from The Advisor, and today I'm very, ex very excited because we have a very special guest with us, and she is a work-life harmonizing strategy specialist, and she's going to be with us today to tell us some amazing things. But before we begin, I just do want to do a quick shout out to DMA World. Uh, they are a marketing consultant agency who focuses on trying to help little businesses become big big. big, big ugh big businesses. So they are focused on, you know, they don't want these little businesses getting scammed by large businesses. So they focus on really trying to focus on little businesses and helping them grow to become what their destiny allows them to be. So, you know, focus and, and try to uh, uh, visit dmaworld.com. And they are a great consulted agency that is happy to serve anyone who is willing to work with them. So check them out today. And so Marla, I'm so excited to have you today. I, you know, <laughs> I have um, so many questions to ask you because you have some great things in the works and I want everyone to know a little about you and what you do. So take it away, tell people how all these great things that you're doing and, you know, and what you're all about. Well, thank you so much, Stacey. I'm so happy to be here amongst your audience. And hello, everyone. As, as Stacey said, I'm Marla Alberti. Oh, just a little bit of background about me. Born and raised right here in Jacksonville, Florida, the home of, yes, the winning Jacksonville Jaguars. We just won again yesterday. Um, can you tell I'm a um, football fan for, for my team only? Um, yeah. And so, <laughs> and so I'm, the, the gist of me is I love life. You know, uh, we've all been through hardships and everything. I'm a United States Navy veteran, disabled veteran. Um, I have a business. I have a couple of businesses, but my main business is True Speaks Group, where we are a multimedia coaching and training company, where we focus on work-life harmony, helping the nine to five working woman discover that work-life harmony integration. Because work-life balance, as we all know, does not exist. Because when you balance something, what happens? Something gets off kilter and it's going to fall through the cracks. So I try to help. Well, I, what I do is I try to help individuals because not only just women, I, I have coached men as well, but, um, Women to integrate work and life, because guess what? Work is a part of your life. It's not separate. We try to separate it, but no, it's it's a part of who you are. It's, it's not who you are, but it's a part of who you are. And I try to get women to understand that as, as from being a coach, um, being a certified coach over uh, 10 plus years, being, been in training and development and leadership of 20 plus years, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm in the um, process of working on yet another degree. I'm currently in school with my PhD in IO psychology, industrial organizational psychology, which is the study of human behavior in the workplace. And I, from that, I have developed a nonprofit called IO for Teens. So we're taking that science and said, I said to myself, how will teenagers who's going to run, they're going to run the world, right? That's, that's me and you, we're going to be on the beach somewhere, right? They're going to be running the world, right? So how are they going to know the, the behavior, the science of how to, uh, deal with things in, in the workplace. It has 26 specialization areas. We've broken that down into five classifications. So we'll talk a little bit more about that. And then from all of that, I've written some books. My latest book is the um, Ultimate Brag Book, 100 Questions About How Awesome You Are. We can talk about that as well. Um, for fun, I am I'm a family oriented. My dad, I'm the caretaker for my dad and he's spoiled rotten. Have one beautiful son and a beautiful daughter-in-law, which my glam baby is on the way due in February of next year, 2024. Yay. <laughs> so maybe by the time this airs or whenever, hope, not sure when it's will air, but maybe he will, he will be here. Uh, so excited about that. Uh, and I love to cruise. I'm a cruiser. I've been, I just came off my 20th cruise uh, a couple, about a month or so ago. We did a Mediterranean cruise and I am a concert junkie. I'm a comedy show junkie. I love to live life, you know, regardless of our headaches and what we've been through, because we've all been through something um, and going and going to continue to go through something. I, I, I do try to look at life on the positive side, but I'm not perfect either. <laughs> and, right. I'm, and, and I'm okay to tell people that it, it's a journey we're on. It's a journey. It really is. It really is. I love how you talk about, um, you, you talk about uh, work-life balance and that's something so many people struggle with, especially mm -hmm. now. I feel like since COVID came, you yeah. know, people's lives are turned around and now yeah. a lot of people are trying to get their lives back in order. And even people who were established, you know, they, they became so over embellished in their careers that they really, a lot of people became drained and they were not able to focus. They were, you know, burnt out. And, you know, they, uh, some people I knew even suffered health issues because yeah. of that. It's big. You know? Yeah. The mental health realm has, um, it was already large, right. But it has completely blown up 
because mm -hmm. what happened, what COVID did, Stacey, is COVID forced us to go inside. And so yes. we're energy. We were just talking about this, right? We're energy. Yeah. Energy has to feed off of energy. So when it's not feeding off of energy, what happens? It dies. So yes. and it goes stagnant. So that's what happened. And so people don't realize that that energy affects your mental, emotional, physical health. And that's where sickness and disease and illness comes from. And that's why the mental health thing has gone bananas. It was already wild, but it's, now it's gone off the charts because people, no matter how much you want to, and I, I really believe introvert, extrovert, to me, those words are overrated. I, I can call myself an introvert, extrovert, extrovert, introvert. It, it doesn't matter. I, I love to be by myself, but I also right. love people to be with people too. So, so it just depends, you know, um, I think we're all like that. Some people may want to do it more than others or less right. than others, but we need that energy to feed off each other. So COVID kind of fast forwarded that and made people realize, okay, I don't like this. <laughs> and then also too, look, look, look at the divorce rate. Look at all the things that happen. You know, people yeah. are like, oh, I really don't like my spouse. We spent, spent too much time. I mean, so it's so much has happened, <laughs> so, yeah. but we got to move forward. Yeah, we definitely have to move forward. Do you have any tips for people who, you know, have gone through burnout or feel like they're going through burnout, you know, Ooh. and yeah. before we begin, how do you know when you're at that stage of burnout? Like, you know, because oh. there's a difference between being tired, you know, mm -hmm. from working and there's a difference between being burnt out, you know, what's your yeah. definition? Oh right. my God, that is so, such a good question, Stacey. And I know we only have a few minutes. We're not going to, I can't be on this call till ne next year because I can talk about this topic literally all day long. Um, yes, there's a difference between being tired and burnout. Like right now, I'm tired. You know, if you, if I can go to, if you want me, if you ask me to, I can go take a nap right now. That's right. tired, right? Yeah. Burnt out though is when you have pushed yourself to the limit to where literally you're running on fumes, like literally. You don't even realize you, your arm can be hurting. Your back can be hurting. You don't even realize your, your body's in pain. Yeah. And burnout comes when that pain, because eventually your body's going to shut you down. That pain yeah. will overtake you and you stop. Some people pass out. Some people sleep all day late. It, it affects everybody differently. So everybody's body is different, obviously. But that's the stage of burnout. The stage of burnout is you literally cannot think straight. You are right. literally just running like no now when we drive uh drive to walmart let's say we all know where the local walmart is it's probably the street right you drive right. to walmart on automatic you can literally just drive there and i even think twice about it that yeah. is a sign of that that could be an example of burnout it's automatic you're doing it you're not even thinking twice about it you're not even looking at the cars you're not looking at people walking across the street because you're burnt out because you're on automatic and nothing yeah. else matters nothing else right. matters Right. So you're not even paying attention to who's walking across the street. You're not paying attention to what buggy is in front of you in the grocery store line because you're so focused on getting whatever this job or task done for whomever you're getting it done for because you're getting it done for somebody else, not for you. Most of the time, right. people are burnt out from other people's work. Most, yes. most people, this, is, this has been scientific. Most people, you don't burn out from your own work. You burn yes. out from doing other people's work. So yes. I'm not saying that it can't happen, but. 99% of the time it's, it's, uh, other people's work because it's on the job. When you, when you talk to an entrepreneur, they're not technically burned out. They might be tired, but they're working on their own stuff. You know, they might be tired, but they're not really burnt out, but it can happen. It can happen. So I don't want, want people thinking it won't happen. It can't happen. But, um, but, but now, especially in the healthcare realm and in the uh, restaurant realm, people, people are just exhausted. You can only work people so much. So yes, yeah, yeah. so there is a, a huge difference. And so it, to answer that first question, Second question is what tips first stop when you realize you're on automatic, when you realize you're just getting up and going. Sometimes I've, I've seen cases and talk and coach people that, that they they're on su such automatic. They sometimes they forget to bathe. Yeah. Seriously, that's how serious this is. They, they forget to even eat. They're, right. they're on Zoom calls all day long. They don't even eat. They forget to use the bathroom. Right. Then they have multiple UTI infections because yeah. they're on automatic because they're, they're trying to, achieve something right they're yeah. trying to get something and, it, mm -hmm. and what they're trying to get is for some some somebody else right so yeah. you need to stop stop and i'm talking to myself too right you need to stop that's the first tip stop recognize when you're an automatic so one way to help do that is mindfulness we were just talking about that sitting still i just got off a podcast earlier and she was talking about where 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 are your feet planted right now focus on that 
A lot of right. times people, we don't do that. So that's tip number one. Once you have decided or once you have made, you have to first recognize that you have, that you're burnt out or you have, or you're tired, either or. Once you've recognized these, this, this phenomenon within yourself, now, number two is what can I do about it? Does it right. mean quitting the job? I don't know. Does it mean traveling around the world? I don't know. Does it mean taking a sabbatical? I don't know. Does it mean uh, taking a break, uh, taking a vacation? I don't, I don't know what it means. Everyone has a different meaning for what, what but you got to do something because you don't want to yeah. get to the point to where we love our doctors, right? We love, right. love, love, love. We love our doctors. If, if doctors didn't exist, I don't know what we would do, but, but remember why they exist. <laughs> yeah. Doctors exist because there's going to something always be wrong. Always going to be something wrong with somebody. Always. Yeah. Always. Mm -hmm. So that's a double-edged sword, right? Because we need doctors because we need them, but we shouldn't have to really need them. Right. Right. Because exactly. we should be taking care of ourselves, but, but life happens. And sometimes things just happen. You know, I'm, I'm not talking about the average thing, like a car accident or something like that. I'm not talking about stuff like that, you know, or you had an excellent job. Obviously you gotta go to the hospital. I'm not talking about stuff like that. I'm talking about just that mental capacity of things that you have control over. And yeah. what people realize, um, Stacey is leading into number three is you have a choice. Everything you do is a choice. Everything you do. Um, right. Jack Canfield's success principles is the first principle is take full responsibility for your actions. Right. Right. So, so you have a choice. You may not like the consequences of that choice, but you have a choice. You have a choice. I have a choice to be on this podcast right now. You, you had a choice to get up and take your phone calls this morning. Right. Yeah, but you have a choice. And people need to recognize that and accept that. Okay. I have yeah. a choice. But what am I going to do about it? Exactly. This is good. I can go yeah. on and on. <laughs> No, I, I think this is great because, you know, people have to realize they, they do have a choice. Some people don't realize they have a choice. Yeah, they, they do. Feel like they have a choice. Stuck, you know, but we, you know, if, if you really want something, you can make it happen. You, you know, can make it you, happen. Have, you have to really realize that you are, you know, the power of your own destiny. And, mm. you know, and yes. you really have to like, you know, it's a, it's a stepping process. It's, you know, yeah. and, and baby steps that lead you to wherever you want to go. But if yep. you don't like where you're at I feel like yeah. there's always a choice you don't have to be where you're at yeah right? you don't you don't you don't have to be and, and and where you're at right now is a result of the choices you've made right it is a result is not we can't we got to stop blaming mama daddy cousin kids right. brother sister whomever yes they played a role in our life yes we can't dismiss that however what are you gonna do about it now right Exactly. Now, we, mom and daddy they raised you they've done they did the best they could with what they knew and maybe they didn't i don't know you know or, or foster parents or, or, or grandma whoever raised you whatever you know right. but how long are we gonna play this blame game you know exactly. when are we, when am i gonna say okay the journey within myself starts with me it starts yeah. here right it starts i gotta recognize you know and um yeah, it, it's a long, it's a long journey. And one of the hardest things, Stacey, is people don't want to look at themselves. It's hard. It is hard. It's hard to look at yourself. Oh, it's hard to look sure. at yourself and say, okay, I need to work on this. Or I'm good enough here. I'm okay here. Right. Or, why, why am I, why am I working 80 hours a week? Why, why am I doing this? Why? Right. Cause like, I, okay. You can say I work eight hours a week because I like money. Well, are you able to spend it? How are you right. able to spend it working eight hours a week? You can't spend the money. <laughs> exactly. where are you going you're not going anywhere because you're we're eight yeah. hours a week <laughs> so, exactly that, that's who that cannot sustain our bodies like we just said we're energy we cannot sustain that type of abuse to our bodies no, we definitely can't you will shut down your body will shut you down it will shut you down. <laughs> it will shut it you down it will like either like we said you mentioned earlier health wise it will yep. shut you down it and you know so many times i feel like it also breaks down the walls of your immune system yeah. and yeah. It really opens you up for illnesses yep. and other things mm -hmm. to happen yep it breaks it breaks everything down and once you become weak now you're susceptible to anything that happen come out and then but yep you, but yep you're still going you're still running out there you're still doing this you're still doing that and like i said i'm not perfect i haven't perfected this but i'm learning every day okay marla yeah. if there's something i don't want to do i'm quick to say no i'm quick to, no is a complete sentence i'm quick to say yeah. no no i don't want to do this no i don't want to do that i'm stopping I, and, I, and i just say oh, i don't want to do it just okay if someone reschedules me oh, not a problem i don't get mad for what right. we're adults we're adults it's okay yeah. Exactly. I had a dinner scheduled for today. She rescheduled. Not a problem. Rescheduled. Right. 
fine. It's okay. People have people give people that grace that you want people to give you. Right. Yes, exactly. Exactly. And that's a great attitude to have. And yeah. not many people have that attitude. You know, they get very emotional. They get very stirred up and yeah. there's, there's no reason to, you yeah. know, yeah. who cares? Like life is yeah. short. Is it always, and I've been trying, this is something I, again, everything I offer, everything I offer my clients, everything I offer is, is, is I, I, I use, I, I work on my own self. Right. And I always think to myself, is this going to matter? Number one, is it going to matter in five years? Is it going to matter next year? Is it going to matter on my deathbed? Right. Exactly. Most of the time it's not. What's going to matter on my deathbed is did I travel? Did I spend time with my kids? Did I, did I teach? Did I teach the students that I had? Did I make impact? Yes. That's what's going to matter to me. Right. Right. When you take my online courses, did you, did you change something in your life? That's what's going to matter to me. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what should matter. You know, you know, I think, I think the whole, the whole thing in, in life is I think that the, when you're, when you show, you give to others and you yeah. change people's lives, it's such yeah. a fulfilling uh, feeling, you know, people yeah. don't realize it's like the greatest accomplishment in the world is to be able yeah. to help another person, especially yeah. if you could change their life, you know, yeah. it's not about exactly. taking taken you know really you have to you know stop have gratitude for what you have and start giving exactly. back to the world you know exactly and you can't do any of that if you are burnt out and or tired exactly you you unless you take care yeah. of yourself <laughs> you can't you can't give you can't give out an empty cup no right? you can't now you have a book out and I want to hear more about this new book that's coming out because you're you're in the process of getting it published right now it's it's going through the works well and- no so so the, the, the book, my most recent book is out. I republished it back in January of this year, 2023. Oh, okay. And it's the ultimate brag book, 100 questions about how awesome you are. And we're just talking about this, this book was birthed out of me coaching my clients. So one thing I would do when I was doing one-on-one coaching, if you're going to coach with Marla, I'm going to have you make a list. I may have you make a list of all the things you want to do. So first of all, I have you remove obstacles. So whether that's kids, money, time, whatever. What is the list of things that Stacy wants to do? Does, does Stacy want to climb Mount Kilimanjaro? Does Stacy want to go to uh, Australia? Does Stacy want to take a world cruise? Whatever Stacy wants to do, I have you write it down on a, on a sheet of paper. The right. amount of people that came back to me, Stacy, the amount of women, and that were well, individuals, period, because I've coached men too, they have come back to me. They couldn't make the list. The, right. The, the, it was and that to me that was baffling because I could always make a list of things that I want. I'm a dreamer. I'm I'm a, I'm a visionary. I'm a dreamer. I'm an optimist. So I can make a big list, right? I can see things. I can see myself doing the thing, right? So and when you see yourself doing it, the imagination is powerful, right? So Einstein said that. So when you see yourself doing it, it's a precursor of you doing it. Yes. So and I, I I was flabbergasted that that these women or these individuals couldn't make this list. I said, okay, I the self-esteem what's going on here so while the book was born 100 questions about how awesome you are so i'm big on journaling and writing and getting the pen in your hand now i i have a lot of i have a lot of lists on my phone too i do i'm not gonna lie about that but i love getting a journal writing down getting my sticker books put my little stickers everywhere and just writing writing my thoughts out writing what i want imagine using my imagination like, a, like as, as if i was a little child yeah. And these questions, these questions in the book is 100 questions and they're just fun. The book is meant to be fun. They're just fun questions. They're just simply asking, what's your favorite restaurant? What are your top 10 favorite restaurants? When was the last time you asked yourself that question? Right. It's about you. It's not about your kids, not about your spouse, not about family. It's about you. Uh, top 10 companies you could be CEO of. Top 10 um, restaurants. I mean, top 10 food you like. That The book is all about you and having fun and loving who you are. And it's okay to brag and say that you like these things. It's right. Okay. It's because someone else likes oysters and you don't. It's okay. Right. Exactly. <laughs> it's okay. So that's what the book is about. It's on Amazon. It's on my website, www.truespeakscoaching.com. Please head out to Amazon, uh, get a copy of it. Um, it's on ebook and as well as paperback. I have more books coming out. I'm in a, I'm in a, um, I'm in a anthology, two anthologies coming up. I'm working on a couple other books. Uh, my one of my leadership books is um about ready to come out. So I, I got some stuff coming out. I got some stuff coming out. I'm working on. But yeah, this book is it's it's a baby for me because I I want people to see their own value. Yeah. And, and, and guess what? I and guess what? Me being who I am, I can't take that on, right? So if you don't see that value, I can't force you to see it. No one can make you do anything, right? right. This book is just to help give you, it's just to be a tool, but it's, it's if it's going to sit on your shelf, 
I'm so proud of you. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. I yeah. think, you know, I think people don't even realize what their true value is. A, a lot of people, you know, not, I shouldn't say all, a lot of people don't realize, you know, their true value in life. They don't sit to look at their strengths. They don't sit to, to really look at the, the value that they have within themselves and how that value can affect others, how they could play such a role in, in the lives around them. Because I think yeah. people don't really give themselves yeah. credit for who they are. They don't yeah. stop and think of how wonderful they are or they have like we were mentioning we were talking about self-esteem they just don't have you know they lack self-esteem and they don't think yeah. they're worthy yeah it's it's crazy because uh, when we think about self-esteem people are like oh you you think so horrible of yourself and self-esteem goes a little bit deeper than that self-esteem is really what you honestly think about who you are as a human being and i you know sometimes i mean i'll be the first to tell you mine fluctuates one day I can think I'm the most awesomest person on the planet. Another day I can think, Marla, what are you doing? <laughs> what, what are you doing? Like, you know, yeah. but, but, but for the baseline though, my self-esteem has been pretty solid throughout my whole entire life. But like I said, I'm still up and down. Doesn't mean I don't have issues, right? <laughs> I think we all got issues. And then you look at your self-efficacy. Self-efficacy is your belief to do something, to do something, yeah. right? Can yeah. you do that math, right? Can you do that algebra? Can you, you know, so the number one cue, the number one facet to emotional intelligence is self-awareness. Yes. And if you don't start with self-awareness, then you won't understand self-esteem, self-efficacy and self and all of this, you know, um, self-determination theory talks about that, you know, and talks about your relatedness and, and, and who, who are you relating yourself to? What, what are you, what are you catching yourself on to? You know, we got to be self-aware. You have to be aware of what's going on in your world. And right. how impacting you, everything you do, everything you do, Stacey, everything impacts you. Like right now yeah. I'm listening to Bach in the background. That mm -hmm. That's soothing me right now. As right. I'm listening to this podcast, this is soothing me. I could have on, I could have on Training Day, one of my favorite movies with Denzel Washington. I could have that on right now, but that's yeah. not, that's not going to soothe me right now during this podcast. It's a, it's a kind of a rough movie, you know? So, yeah. so your brain waves are, you got to be careful. You got to be, you got to think about what you're doing. And a lot of yeah. folks don't do that. And again, I'm not saying that I'm mastered at all, right? But I am my own work in progress. I am my own client. I am my own patient. And yeah. I'm pushing myself through those things as I continue to be awakened every yes. year, continue to be awake every day, continue to be awakened. And like you said, gratitude, be grateful and moving forward and yeah. how I can be a better person. And I'm not saying I, 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 I know I'm not there. I'm not there. God knows I'm not there. But but through therapy and through work, through through helping others, through journaling, through through every, everything I'm doing, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And I think we all are. It's a journey. We're not going to really where is there. There is no there. Yeah. You're just on the journey. Exactly. Exactly. I think I think self-awareness is so important. I think it's yeah. it's 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 so necessary to and because I think when you're aware of yourself, you understand what your trigger points are. You understand yeah. what makes happy what makes you strong what makes you yes. weak what makes you sad yeah. if yes. you could decipher those things you could focus on the positive things the positive things that make you a better person and and enhance yourself you know to reach your own true potential in life yeah well 100 percent. self-awareness is key but but from from my studies and what i've been coaching or folks i've been coaching it's hard it's oh it's so hard looking at yourself Stacy. it's oh, hard yeah. that ego is real <laughs> yeah. that ego is something real it is it is yeah uh ego but ego is the way ego is the way as ryan holiday says it is yeah. you, you got to figure out what can you how can you get past this puppy right yeah. shut that sucker down and move forward it's okay do you think do you think having an ego is basically like a protector it puts a wall around you so it's a coping mechanism Ego is a coping mechanism. Prime example. Well, let's just use this example. I know we could talk about this all, all day, right? Road yeah. rage. Road rage. Yes. That's all ego. Yes. Someone cut you off. Who gives a flying poop poop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but me included, I've gotten mad because right. someone cut me off. Come on now. I'm human. We've all done it. But yeah. why am I mad? Because I don't own the road. I do not own 95. 95 runs straight through Jacksonville. It's our main highway. Right. I, I don't own any part of 95. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. It runs all the way up to um, Maine. <laughs> right. So someone decides to cut me off without a blanker. What am I going to do? I have a choice. Exactly. You know, I read somewhere. Um, it takes seven seconds to ruin your life. Yeah. Seven seconds. So in that seven second time frame of someone cutting me off, am I going to let my ego win and put me in jail or even dead? Or am I, or am I just going to let them pass and go on? Right. It's, 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 it's just that simple, but it's hard. It's hard because ego, it, you're, you're, you're protected. Oh, how dare they? Do they know who I am? No, they don't know who you are. And they right. don't, probably don't care because <laughs> they're trying to get somewhere too, because they're on nine to five as well as you. So that's a prime example. E Road rage is nothing but ego and people who take it far, um, people who take it to the point of getting out their car and pulling out guns. That's yeah. a problem. It's ego. It's ego. It's ego. Do you think do you need that validation from someone on the street. Yeah. Do, do you think that per, people that have egos, do you, what do you think it stems from? Do you think it's low self-esteem? Do you think it's, it's just, you know, what is, what is the ego problem, you know, caused by like, why do these people have such egos like, and they, they, they act like, well, you know, I'm the best, you know, I, you know, I, I'm entitled, you know, uh, you know, oh, well, you, you don't like what I'm doing. Oh, well, you know. Good question. Um, so answer the first part. Yes, we all have ego. We all have an ego. Everyone, it, it's up to you whether you uh, feed into it or not. Feed it. Right. Like, the more you feed it, the more something grows, right? Yeah. So we all have it. That's number one. Number two is ego is there to protect a void. Mm. So whatever the void is right. in your life that you're dealing with, don't say you don't have it because you do, right? Mm -hmm. So whatever that void is, that's that's what the ego is there it's there to protect that right how dare you do this how dare they like example if i walk into the store and someone calls me a b right because i didn't speak to them or something right am i if i go off on that person right which most some people will i'm not gonna say i wouldn't right, right. <laughs> but if i go off on that person somebody i don't know you gotta ask you yes step outside yourself and ask yourself and self a question they called you a b who is this person Mm -hmm. number one why does their opinion matter right two, they don't have to respect you so respect is earned so you can't just you can't you can't respect me the moment i walk into a store right, right? you don't know who i am you i'm just somebody passing by even though even though we should be kind to each other we should be but, but everybody's yeah. not going to do that right no. so with that being said i have i can react i can maybe look at her and be like okay is she okay <laughs> Because I didn't, I know I didn't do anything to her. I'm, I'm gonna take an example here. I'm, I'm not saying someone did this to me. Someone did not. But I'm just saying this yeah. is an example. This is how small something can be. You know, someone calls you a name. Someone calls you outside your name or whatever. Why does that person's opinion of you matter so much? Right. To you. That's yes. the question you have to ask yourself. And I ask myself the same question all the time. Ask yourself the same question. Why does this person's opinion matter to me? Oh, okay, I can be a B. Hmm, not a problem. Do you think you're a B? Then, then if you think that, then we have a problem here. So that means yeah. that person's validating you right. in a negative manner. So again, but that's a void. Why do you think why do you think that way? There's something missing. There's something happened. That's what therapy yeah. comes from. All right. That's what therapy is beautiful. That's why you got to go back in time and sit with somebody. That's why you go to counseling. You yeah. know, a lot of these things we can't solve on our own. And exactly. we try to. We try to solve these things on our own. And we can't. Right. That's that's where suicide comes into play. You know, yeah. so um, which is a whole we can go, that's a whole other rabbit hole that we can go down. Um, but it's real, but it's all real. Suicide's real. Ego is real. Self-awareness is real. Uh, helping, helping yourself is real. No mm -hmm. one can make you do anything. Right. No one can make you do anything. But if you don't get the help you need for yourself, you can set yourself on a downward spiral. And you do right. have, people are toxic. People are, we just said it, we're energy. And if you're mm -hmm. surrounding yourself around toxic environments and, and doing these things and listening to, like I said, I could listen to training day in the background, you know? If I constantly have that in my ear all day long, what's going to happen? You know, so you you it's it's about but all of that. What I just said, Stacy, is all about self awareness and self control. People don't yeah. realize that though. People don't realize yeah. it. No, they don't realize that. Well, that answers the question. The long answer. <laughs> no, you did answer my question. You know, and I I feel like you know. When, when it comes down to it, people, you know, it's not when these people react like this and they do things like this, it's yeah. not, it's not you, it's them yeah. with the problem. Yeah, it's them. You have it's them. to realize that. It's them. It's them with the problem. And that's something you have to really realize 
it's it's none of my business if you think I'm this. It's none of my business if you think I'm that. It's none of my business. That's what you think. You have a you are entitled. It's a free country. You are entitled to think what you want to think. It don't right. affect me. Now you can say that's ego on my side, but hey, call it what you want. It doesn't. It should not affect me. No. <laughs> why? Why is what you're saying to me affect you? Don't pay my bills. You haven't given me anything. <laughs> I'm walking past you in a restaurant or in a store, <laughs> you know, yeah. even this family member, you know, why is it bothering me? That's what exactly. you, I, that's something I constantly ask myself, you know, right. you know, something I'm working on with my therapist that I've been telling all my friends, this is called be so convinced. Right. She's, what it means is not be so convinced to the point that you don't care. Be so to the event, convinced to the point to where you know the value of what you are and who you are and what you bring to the table that what other people say is really gibberish. Right. He's so exactly. convinced. So yeah, that's my phrase for the year, rest of this year <laughs> and going in 2024. Be so convinced. Yeah. I think that's awesome. I think that's really awesome. And, you know, I love that. I love that. Now, I want to know more about your academy. You were putting together an academy, you told me, and I'm very excited yeah. about this for you, but yeah. I want to hear more about it. Thank you so much. So it's true. So under True Speaks Group, um, like it's a multimedia coaching and training company, our main, I'm going from, I, I did, I've done, I, like I said, I've coached probably over six, 700 people. I don't know how many, um, but uh, I'm going from that one-on-one -on -one coaching platform to a academy. It's called True Speaks Academy. We're going to mm -hmm. be doing a soft launch the week of, this is 2023. So the week of Thanksgiving. So we're going to have advertisements and stuff like this. So please, you have all my social media links, follow me, ping me on LinkedIn, reach out, sign up on my website. And uh, it's going to be subscription-based. We're going to start off with five courses. And these courses are tailor-made to you. So they're, they're not your regular school book courses, right? They're, they're th These courses are based off of real life things. Stuff has happened to you, stuff that may happen to me or whatever. So the things you can actually relate to is yeah. not for you. You have to have an avatar, right? So my target audience is the nine to five working woman, but anyone can take these courses. Well, anyone 18 and above can take these mm -hmm. courses. And I'm um, going to start with five courses. And, and my whole goal is to grow it every single month. So every month we're going to add a new product, whether that's a new right. course, a new um, uh, uh, talk or a webinar, a new ebook, a new PDF, a new worksheet. I I'm big on people doing, I'm big on people taking action with a pen and writing, journaling. I, I mm -hmm. love to give away some freebies. I'll pop in there and do freebies, but it's going to be a whole community. And yeah. the starting price will be $19.99 a month. I mean, like I said, that that's, that's coffee at Starbucks every month, right? So $19.99 a month to invest in yourself and get these courses. We have, we're going to have goals. We're going to have um, vision board. It, it's going to be a lot of stuff that's personal yeah. professional development to help you work life, harmonize everything in your life. Um, yeah. And then once that gets up and rolling, my goal is to keep adding more, keep adding more products. So we're looking at $19.99 for the soft launch or, or for the whole year. I, th I think we said $2.99 for the whole year. And you want to get in, then once we start in 2024, the prices will increase. Uh, I think we uh, agreed on 39.99 for uh, for 2024, and then 400 for the year. Yeah, and it's, awesome. it's 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 open. It's there's no contract or anything you sign. You uh, everything's going to be sent off to you. You get a password and everything. What you sign in and and take your course and and I'll be sending out emails letting you know when something new is uploaded and and I'll have contests. I love giving away freebies and. Yeah, it's going to be, uh, that's that's going to be the community. That's going to be how I coach. I'm going to coach through the academy. So super excited about it. It's oh, that's everything awesome. Online. Yeah. That's very awesome. I love it. I love it. And, you know, it, it's so important for people to really, you know, um, I think coaching is so valuable because yeah. a lot of times, you know, we get stuck in life. We really do. And we don't know, you know, I, I feel like sometimes it's a highway and you don't know which direction to turn, what lane do I go in? And to have someone there that could really, you know, see from a different perspective, an unbiased perspective and guide yeah. you along you know and you know these coaching courses sound great and then they could probably even contact you I assume if they needed to contact yeah. you yeah definitely so the only that that's 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 why I moved to this platform because of the one-on-one -on -one coaching was was draining me and I have to make decisions for my own mental health right so yeah. I have to um say okay how can I still help people and that's through these online courses, the, through the through the academy. The academy right. is where you can get that access to me. Um, I won't do one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, you know, um, 
because again, I value who I am. I'm not going to do one-on-one coaching sessions for $19.99 a month, right? <laughs> right. So, um, but you will have access to me because I will be constantly posting um, updates and constantly posting new products. And like I said, doing freebies and giveaways and stuff. And, and people can reach out to me anyway. I mean, they, they know my email contact at truespeechcoaching.com. Reach out to me on LinkedIn. Send me a message on Instagram. Yeah, people reach out to me all the time. I'm not mm-hmm. out of reach. <laughs> <laughs> Now you were telling me also there was a uh, IO psychology. Uh, it was something you were talking about. Can you tell me a little about that? Yes. So everything I do is a, everything I do is in the foundation of IO psychology. This academy, everything I do. So IO psychology is the study of human behavior in the workplace, and it is okay. an actual psychology in the APA, um, American Psychological Association. And only thing is, we don't diagnose clinically. IO psychologists Mm -hmm. diagnose workplace trends and behavior. There's 26 specialization areas. And what we have done in my, uh, I've developed a nonprofit to teach teenagers this, IO for teens. And what we've done, we've broken those 26 specialization areas down into five classifications. And those classifications are discover your dream, chase your dream, chase your dream, living up to your potential, don't get caught up in different faces, different places. And what we have done is we're teaching them not only career skills, but life skills. Stuff that they need. Yeah, yeah, we need algebra, we need English, we need all that, but they got to go work somewhere where they're going to be an entrepreneur. You got to work with people. I don't care what you're going to do. You can call yourself a hermit all you want to. You still got to work with people. You still got to go through a drive through and get the burger from McDonald's. You still got to talk to somebody, you know? So h- how do you communicate? And that's something that this generation, I've noticed a lot of teenagers and Generation X, millennials, remember the Generation X, the Generation Z is, is missing it. Yeah. Uh, so, uh. So that's where the nonprofit came into play. But um, I'm currently in school, my PhD in IO psychology, uh, should be wrapping that up here towards the end of the year, I'm defending here. And um, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm actually getting ready to start doing some adjunct work for um, as, um for IO psychology as well. So I, it's just a baby. I, I, I love it. It is, it's beautiful science. Uh, I'm not, I'm not an, 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 an 100% expert in it because it's such a huge field. I'm learning so much, but I, I yeah. can say I know a thing or two, <laughs> you know, and um, that's not bragging. That's just, I know a thing or two about IO psychology. And so, um, and, but I'm learning more. And, and most IO psychologists will focus on anywhere between three to five specialization areas. So my particular ones are uh, work-life harmony, career development, Mm -hmm. leadership development, uh, um, speaking, uh, training and development. So those are my areas. I'm coaching because that's that's where I have my expertise at. But it also includes EDI, um, equity, diversity, and inclusion. It it includes um, compliance, HR compliance. It includes compensation. It includes a huge range of all of that stuff. And what I like to say, uh, Stacey, is people like, okay, well, Marla, what's the difference between um, IO psychology and HR. Great question. So a lot of IO psychologists sit in HR. So I like to use the compensation as an example. So let's say HR, you get an annual, you get an annual bonus. HR is going to see, going to post the bonus, right? But when yeah. they do those, those, those gatherings, those meetings, those trends, that's the IO yeah. psychology. That's what IO psychologist does. They're the ones trending, finding out the behavior behind the bonus. Why is the company giving you this bonus? What 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 factors were involved? So it does involve some type of math sometimes, and um, there are quantitative and qualitative methods to it. So it's, it's it is it's just a beautiful science, and I just want to introduce it to teenagers so they can know how to run this world. Because like I said, we're going to be on a beach somewhere. We're going to be we're going to be ch- chilling somewhere. <laughs> And I think it's important too, because, you know, like I've noticed like the retention spans yeah. of people have declined so tremendously. And also yeah. that, you know, from being on the computer and from being on your iPhones and from being on so many electric, you know, devices, the, all these electronic devices, people have a, a tendency of not to have really strong communication skills. Everything yeah. is text, 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 text. But when you're actually physically speaking with an individual, yeah. you have to have those communication skills you have to be able to communicate you have to be able to show emotion you know and and a lot of people i think lack that nowadays no you are 100 percent correct because behind a screen we can say whatever we want to say yeah you know mm-hmm. behind the screen you can do whatever you want to do you can hide behind that screen all day long but getting in somebody's face and talk about it it's oh it's it's different isn't it <laughs> oh, it's different it's different but it's more powerful, you know, and yeah, it's like, more powerful, more impactful. and people get yeah. to see what you really, I can see your expression. I can feel you. Right. Yeah. But behind the screen, you can say what you want to say and whatever. 
Yeah. I, I think it's so important, you know, for people to learn, you know, how to communicate. And I like that, that you're doing the, you know, the IO psychology, because I think it's important that people understand the behaviors of the workforce, because when you understand the behaviors, you're able to actually function better because you're understanding the cycle, you're understanding the method, you're understanding what's behind it. You know, you're not going in there like, like a lost bird. You're understanding why things are done the way they are done, why yeah. things are being done, you know, yeah. accordingly and the reasoning for it. And I think There's that's a reason point. for that behavior, right? There's always a reason for the behavior. And that's what we do. We come in there and study the behavior. What, yeah. What's going on? Is it the leader? You know, a lot of, a lot of, companies will hire consultants to come in and try to fix their company or whatever, right. but you don't listen to what the consultant says. You know, it's, it's, it's something going on. The people yeah. are not doing this because the leader is not doing this or something's happening or, you know, so it's, you got to get, get into the science of things and figure out everything's connected. People yes. are not machines, right? Everything's connected yes. and you got to really get, dig into it. Yep. I and that's that's... <laughs> <laughs> Well, this has been great. You know, if you yeah. had to give people like some, some tips about the topics that we we've touched base on, is there tips that you'd like to help, you know, give to people about, you know, for, you know, focusing and being able to function to their, their best potential in the workforce, because we touched base on burnt out. We touched base on the behaviors of the workforce. We touched base on, you know, really about focus, communication, and, and lots of other things. Is there, is there tips about, you know, how to really succeed in the workforce and how to be a good leader? Yeah. Oh, wow. That was a loaded question. So I'm going to try to not spend 30 minutes answering it. So no, number one, tips for you. It, it, I, it doesn't matter what your title is. People get caught up in titles. Western, Western society, I've done a few podcasts of folks on the Eastern side and they're, yeah. they're like, you guys are so wrapped up in titles. We are. Western culture, we are. We're just wrapped up in titles. You got to get away from the title. That kind of that kind of feeds into the ego, right? Yes. You got to find who you are because you're not your title. You may be the CEO or you may be the leader or you may be the CFO or whatever, the marketing person or whatever, but that's just a piece of who you are, right? Yes. That's not you. Exactly. Who are you? Who is Stacy? So that, let's start with that. Start with that. I always have people, again, get the journal, get the pen and paper and get the journal, right? Get to writing mm -hmm. down, who are you? Who are you? Who do you want to be? Who 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 is this person? That's number mm -hmm. one. And that's with anybody. I don't care if you're a leader or not. Anybody, everyone needs to do that because a lot of times we get, again, we get caught up in this cycle of, oh, I got to prove this, I got to prove that. No, you don't. All right? Right. Number two is after you figure out who you are, learn to be that person. So be. Yeah. B is, 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 and that goes back to what we're saying about self-awareness is be, being is hard. We are human beings, but how often do we get a chance to be? Not yeah. often. So I'm taking, I'm talking to myself. I'm not, I'm not a whiz at this. I'm, I'm learning. I'm on the journey. Are you on a journey? Right? So what, what is, what does this journey mean for you? Once you discover who you are, what does this journey mean? Where, where are you going on this list? Why haven't yeah. you done this? And, and don't blame your kids. Your kids didn't ask to be born. Right? Yeah. <laughs> They didn't ask for you to get pregnant and have a baby, have a baby, right? So yeah. don't, don't blame the kids. Well, I have kids. I can't, do, I can't do that. I can't. Well, okay. What can you do? Right. Exactly. So whatever you said you can't do, you're one hundred percent correct. Right. So so change that. That's that's a quote someone told me. Whatever you believe, you're one hundred percent correct. So if you believe you can't, then you won't. It's just that simple. Yeah. And exactly. I think the third tip, uh, especially in organizations, is realize that these are people. Mm hmm. Yes. The people. Yes. And without people, your organization will not run. Right. Mm -hmm. So take care of your people. Exactly. <laughs> take, exactly. Take care of your people. No, you're not going to like everybody. No, everybody's not going to get along. Yes, there's going to be a chatty catty on the, on the team. Yes, there's going to be a know-it-all on the team. Yes, there's going to be the person who, who slacks and doesn't want to come to work who calls out all the time. Yeah. Very people. How are you leading them? How mm -hmm. are you leading yourself? You know, and, and and just think about, again, what we said earlier, the issue that you're dealing with, is it going to matter on your deathbed? Is it going to matter a year from now? Is it going to matter next month? Exactly. Probably not. So use those oh. filters. Use those filters. I love that. I love that. You know what I hear a lot from people? Well, I got to pay the bills. They focus, they, they focus on time and energy they're not enjoying life they're just folk they're just living to live 
You know, yep. they're not enjoy, you know, they're not living to enjoy life and appreciate what's around them. And and, what do you you know, it doesn't, it doesn't take much. And that's something I'm learning. It doesn't take much. So what you'll, okay. If you, you got to pay the bills, you know, we're not asking people to be rich and be wealthy. Number one, that's a mindset. That's number one. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So let's start there. So if you say you're not rich and wealthy, then you're not. So, um, <clears throat> but it's, it doesn't take much. Like right now, I said, I have, I have bot playing in the background. That makes me happy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it adds to my happiness. The sun is shining. Oh, it's beautiful outside. I'm gonna go take a walk. Right, the small, exactly. simple things. And this is I'm, again, I'm talking to myself. The small, simple things. I don't have. Now, would I love a million dollars to drop out the sky right now? I damn sure would. <laughs> I, would <tell laughs> I don't know anybody who wouldn't. You know, but guess what? Right now, I got Bach in the sunshine. I'll take that. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. You know, I love it. I love it. You know, I, I preach about gratitude all the time. Let's be, let's have some yeah. gratitude for what we have and yeah. not so much of what we don't have, you know, yeah. and I'll take it. I'll yeah. take, give, me, give me the sunshine and Bach and I'm, I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, and I'll work yourself out. It may not feel like it sometimes. And sometimes you got to talk to people. It's okay. But it, I'm learning everything is temporary. This it life is. is temporary. It is. And um, yeah, sometimes my, my mom, I'll tell you this, and we can close out. My mom used to always say, baby, just keep living. And I never knew what she meant by that. Yeah, but yeah. As, as I became an adult, when I hit 40, I'm, I just turned yeah. 46 in July. When I hit Look 40, I, and I realized, okay, I know what she means. Keep, just keep living. Just keep living. Because this too shall pass. It all yeah. passes. Nothing is permanent. No, nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. You know, so you really have to enjoy the moment, you know, and even when you, when you come across problems, those problems yeah. pass, you know, they always do. We might, do. Have, we, get passed out. we might, we might go through our ups and downs, yep. but if you know, we always get through it. We always get through it, you yep. know, get through it. it's just like your mom said, you know, you just, you, yeah, you just got to live and keep enjoy living, baby. Keep living. <laughs> keep living. Yeah. Now I know, now I know rest her soul, but now I know. I love it. I love it. And she's a hundred percent right. You know, and you know, it's, it's, you really got to just take each moment because we don't know what the next day is going to bring. And that's what I keep talking. the next hour, you know, it's what two o'clock. I don't know what's going to happen at three. Yeah. We assume, <laughs> we assume that, you know, this is going to happen. That's going to happen, but we don't know what's going to happen. So, you know, live for the now and just enjoy, you know, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. But you have some great pointers. I I love all the work you're doing. It's amazing. The academy, the book, you know, the the the, the IO psychology, you know, that you're teaching people. I love it. it it's amazing, and it, and it's so helpful for humans. You know, we we really need to be understand more. You know, and I think that's where what what where problems occur is people don't understand. So you're really throwing out that knowledge and helping people to understand. And where can they find your website? Where can they go? to find yeah. you. Yes, definitely. So with the nonprofit, it's um, www.io14s, F-O-R-T-E-E-N-S.org, io14s.org. Please feel free, go out there, check us out, donate if you feel willing. Uh, we have a monthly donation donation um, program. If you donate $25 or more per month, we'll send you a cute little goodie bag. Um, mm -hmm. So please feel free to donate, go out there, see what we're doing. Um, for To reach out to me, just go to my website, www.truespeaks.com coaching.com i kept my original truespeakscoaching.com and um you can sign up to get your free work life harmony workbook and be on the lookout for these emails coming out um get on the email list um be on the lookout for these emails coming out for this soft launch you don't want to miss this academy um mm -hmm. if you can jump on this academy for 20 dollars a month i mean even i'm looking at these i'm looking at some of these courses that we're putting together i'm like <laughs> these courses are worth 20 dollars a piece yeah <laughs> let alone them for a month <laughs> You know, <laughs> we're more than that, honestly. But I'm just like, and they're and they're good, and I and I know people's senior spans aren't like we talked about not long, so they're they're good mini courses. They're not something that's meant to sit there, you sit there for hours and you just oh god, you know, it's yeah. to help you push through. So I am super excited about it. So find me on a T Speaks group on Instagram. I'm on LinkedIn under Marla J Alberti. Find me, friend me, send me a message. Let me know that this. This podcast helped you go out to the um, uh, Amazon. If you type in my name, Marla J. Alberti, both of my books will pop up. I'm the only Marla J. Alberti on Amazon that I know of. Both books will pop up. Feel free to uh, purchase those or you can go to my website and purchase them. Um, I'm here. I'm here.
Oh, that's awesome. That's awesome. This has been amazing, Marla. I, I am so glad that you came on the show. I, I commend you for what you're doing is, you know, you, you, you've done a lot and you're continuing to do more and you're helping so many people. And, and this, this has been wonderful. I I've learned a lot through this, this session, you know, thank you so much. This is, this has been a, a wonderful journey and I, I thank you so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Stacey, for having me and everybody be just learn to be everybody. Yes. A hundred percent. Just be, and just keep on living. Just like her mom said, keep on living. Keep on living. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Have a great day.